Sunday, everybody. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Carolyn. I am back again with some updates. So um, yesterday I got a message. I think it was yesterday. And someone was asking me about one of the templates. Well, the only, I had one fan template on Etsy, but it was a drop and drag, a drop and drag template. So with that template, it came with the markup. So the markup was not included with the template. And so I went in here and I updated the uh, fan template and I added some pre-designs. So that way, if you are doing a graduation fan for a, um, a female graduate or a male graduate, you have options. So just in case you are new, you are wondering, what is an edible template? An edible template is something that you can go in and you can change out for your own customization. So for example, say like if you want this kind of template, but you don't like the color, you can go and you can change the color. So we're going to go and we're going to try to make this like a pur purple. So you see how the outline change to purple? So that's what it is. So when you download your template, you might see this here that says ungroup. You want to ungroup the template. And that way you, ha you have access to all the elements that's in that template. So how do I get to the elements? So you click on the design and then you go up here to this section called position. So once you open up the position, then you will see all of these options that come open. Now say like if you want to change out that entire background, you see how it's already highlighted and you want to make that purple. You simply come up here to the color section and you can change that out to I'm just do pink and then down here is it will tell you all sometimes you don't want the whole thing to change the color you just only want that certain element to change color so you make sure you highlight that and you change it should change to like pink or music orange or something like that but it's something down here that says change the color and then you usually will just do that option. Okay. So I'm just going to let this go real quick. I'm going to move something around real quick. Because I want to get to that back part. So say like. You want this entire. Let me see. You should be able to do it when you hit position. Or you can just detach the whole image. And you want to come up here. And hit detach image okay and so you see how that came out in the background of it is yellow you know that's simply what you will do so you just detaching the whole entire um, color and you making it to your own customization so let's hit the back button and let's see, I'm going to do a random example real quick. I'm going to use this one right here. So we're going to go and find an image. And I'm going to use this image right here. And then I'm going to just go up here and I'm going to hit background remove. Okay, so he's out. He got a hard line at the bottom. And say like I want to cover that up. I'm going to come back to position. And I am just going to pull the element that I want, um, which is this one here, is the gradient. And I'm going to cover him up. Now you see how the rest of my stuff like got in the way. I'm just going to take those elements and I'm going to pull in front of the gradient to get my elements back to where it was at. Okay, and I need this to... Did this stay or did this move? Uh oh, let's move this back down. So I need the the dark twenty twenty four to. I need I need this to come back. Okay, there. It goes. So that's what you do. You just move. You just. You know, change out the elements to your liking. You just add your own pictures. 
Um, here's the colors that I did. I try to do with the colors that stuck out the most to me during a graduation season. And so this section right here is the template that I had on Etsy. And um, it was just one template with the design. And so that's where I think the confusion came in. I think I put that in the, in the description as well. And I did include an actual picture of what the download, download will look like once you download. But now these are just pre-designed um, and they still are edible. So I did the version that's like a, as a square rectangle version. And then I also did a square of this. I mean, I also did this version as well. All right, so these are edible templates. Okay. So let me see if I can minimize my screen and show you exactly how you would cut this template out if you was using this in uh, silhouette design or well you know what silhouette design for some reason won't allow me to screen record let me see if I can go to Cricut I'm gonna minimize this for us for one second um, let's see what's over here I don't think I can I minimize the screen Cricut Design. Okay, I'm about to open a Cricut Design space. Uh -oh, it's telling me something. Okay, I have to download it. So I'll come back on here and I will show you show how to do the Cricut Design space. So basically that's what it does. Um for some reason, when I try to do the screen record to show for Silhouette Studio, it just jumps around. It won't, it won't allow me to show it. So um, I'm going to just describe it the best way I can on here. So whatever software you use to cut, when you trans sometimes when you transfer this image to um, like Silhouette Studio, it will, it will populate like it's a SVG. So this part would still like be movable. So in Silhouette Studio, you either want to weld this part to, to this, or you want to group it, make sure it's grouped. So to avoid having this section in the middle cut, create another offset in Silhouette of, this, of your design. And so once you create another uh, Silhouette, I mean, another offset, when you go, when you hit it to the send section where it's going to send the cut, there's going to be three options where it say um, no cut, cut, and cut edge. You want to hit cut edge. That means it's going to cut around your template and not on the inside. Okay, so these are the designs that I have. And I also have some t shirt designs that's already over there as well. So thank you for joining my YouTube channel. Don't for, uh, forget to click, like, share, and subscribe. Um, leave any comments and leave any questions that you may have, any concerns, and I will be more uh, glad to help you. So thank you for um, watching my YouTube channel and until next time.